Alright, it's actually been a little while <laughs> since I uh, worked on this. I kind of set it down and got busy with the holidays and everything. Um, I've done the filling, I've done a fair amount of sanding on this. Things feel, you know, pretty smooth, um, but it's hard to tell when it's all splotchy in different colors. So um, I need to throw primer on it. I think I'm going to primer the whole thing. Um, another thing I noticed is when I was sanding things is that um, the primer came off real easy, and I think that this. Um, resin is a little too smooth, a little too slick, so I'm going to buff it a little bit, scratch it up with a little steel wool, just so the primer has something to bite onto and hold. Um, it's a typical thing to do to prep a surface for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the, these two pieces. So before I do the primer again, you gotta let that uh, Abe's epoxy skull uh, set up and cure. So it'll be it'll be one more day at least. All right, so now I'm gonna primer, um, mainly because I cannot see on here very well because of the multi of colors. I can't make out the shape very well of those areas I filled. Um, Make it all one color, especially like a light gray, like a primer is. I can see it. So it's primer time. much faster 
airbrush, this airbrush doesn't put out that much. So I paint these thin little lines over the whole thing, which sucks. Especially when you're doing primer. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs because I have fogged up the basement and it, it's making me cough. Yeah. <coughs> All right, let's do some sanding. other parts go and checking them for imperfections and getting them ready because um, they got to be primered they got to be painted and, and attached to the the main body if it's the right thing to do um, some of the parts I think need to be held off until after the painting's done but um, yeah let's figure out where everything goes this piece this goes on here like so and then this goes in gonna go there because that fits here so these are for holding the lenses in but it doesn't fit oh it does fit just barely oh, we might have to sand that a little bit get that reduced a little bit and then this one of course This is going to be cut up. There's two buttons that go here, which I have, and then there's a bumper that goes there. So that's that. Essentially. There's parts for that go there. This. Could be sanded down a little bit. <clears throat> and this goes on here. Yeah. And then the only piece I don't have a place for yet is this one, but it goes. It goes. to look which way it goes. And then I have all these screws. I got screw tabs here and here. So I gotta put holes here and here. Let's see, there's three of these. Two of these and one of those. Okay, so two is one, two. <coughs> Doesn't quite fit in the hole. Definitely won't fit in this one. Over. We got 
more holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes on this side. Really, probably the ones we need to worry about a lot are these guys. These fit. So it looks like I'm going to drill holes here. This, I think, gets covered. This one gets covered up. There's a little bumper thing that goes on right here. So nothing goes there. Maybe this goes here. where that goes. These holes are drilled out. They're at the back side of these. So I'll have to drill those. Hmm. Okay. Gotta figure out where the holes go. Missing a screw for that. Okay, I'm going to check these parts for any other weird spots that are needing adjustments. There's some scratches on the top of this. I know it's not going to pick up because it's like practically pure white, but I need to sand that smooth. I know once I hit this with primer, it's going to reveal a bunch of weird things. So I just want to knock as many down. Oh, see, this is pretty good. Just a little bit of a flashing on the edge. I don't know if that's going to pick up. So, that's pretty normal stuff. Um, let's see. I might just hit the bottom of this uh, with a little sandpaper. A lot of these parts are probably like that. This is just a lens. That's just a piece of acrylic or something like that. Yeah, this has got the flashing on it too. I need to trim that off. Maybe just give it a quick rub with a, this is an internal part. Uh, let's see, these are different sizes though. One goes to one eye and one goes to the other eye. And this one, I think, just doesn't want to fit in there very well. Whereas this one just slips right in. So, and I can see with my eye, I don't know if that's going to pick up at all. There's a little bit of a taper. And so I think it's just the because the top of the mold, the, water, the, the resin got poured in this way, so it kind of was able to push out, um, not as well supported. So I think I can just maybe sand these, this edge a little bit so it can get in there. The, this piece, um, it's got to be cut up. There's two different parts. Um, basically, they cut off like one of these little teardrop-shaped pieces, and they stick it right up here in the corner. It goes like right there and it's painted red so it's like a little switch and then the other section actually there's like a, just a little piece and it fits like right in this gap so I got a cup cut a couple pieces off there drill holes for screws these parts it's just a little wavy on the back not that it matters because it sits kind of suspended a little bit but I might clean it up just because there's some there's some flash right there on the inside. So just trimming off those little bits, and then this this thing does sit flat against this, and so it doesn't quite it wants to teeter totter a little bit against that. So I'll just flatten that out. Yeah, you can see see that how it's kind of raised. And then I think everything else is probably okay. This is just another eyepiece, so the flashing needs to be trimmed off. This little bump, this little hemisphere, it's got a little flash around it. Sand that guy. Same thing with this. I can hear the flash. So, all these little parts got to be trimmed up, cleaned up primed and the ones that aren't going to be pretty much everything is going to be glued on except for this piece isn't because it stays clear these are not go the eye pieces are not going to be glued on because there's a lens that goes inside and so I'm going to do them separately 
because I'll fit them in after the fact. Um, these two pieces will get primed but not assembled because the lens goes inside. Like so. And I gotta be able to peel that plastic off. So these two pieces will get glued on. But maybe I shouldn't, because if the trend is going, almost nothing is being glued on. <laughs> okay, let's clean these up. switch. It's a little red switch up at the top. It's actually just one of these little segments off that camshaft. So I gotta slice it off. And then the other one is actually this round piece and then three of those sections. Um, and it goes right here between the bottom of this hood here and then the, the base on the front of the goggle or the face side of the goggle, I should say. So I'm gonna cut those two pieces off real quick and get them prepped and ready for um, primer as well. All right, so that part's done. Um, those, I should say those two parts are done. Um, gonna do these these uh, magic sliders things next, and that's the piece that goes right here over that hole. And uh, right below that, there's there's a little recessed area, and there's two like buttons that go there. One gray, one red. I've got a couple different options for that, and I got to check to see which one we want to go. For. I think I know which one we're going for, but um, I'm going to double check on that. But I'm going to prep this part to be painted, primed and painted. And then there's only, uh, besides those two buttons, there's only one part left, which requires making a mold. So um, 
yeah, I'll probably start that here in a second. adhesive back and they're not cleanly cut and they're rubbery I don't know how well things are gonna stick to that I don't think that's gonna stay I might actually make a mold of this because it's rubbery and I don't think paint will stick and I gotta make a mold anyway so might as well do two for one All right, instead of me trying to screw around building the size of a mold, I found this piece of plastic smooth on the bottom. It's got four walls. It's not enormous compared to the part. We're gonna do that. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I know it's a lot of sanding and primering and kind of the same stuff of the last video, but it's just part of the process. This, this uh, kit that we got here for the hop uh, electro binocular is uh, seconds cast. So it's got a lot more defects in the casting and stuff like that. So it's a lot cheaper to buy, but other side you gotta put a lot more work into it. So you get a positive and a negative there. So, um, that's going to be it for this one. Check out the blog, propchopshop.com, and I will see you next time.